End-of-life care can be a challenging subject for families, but one company can help you through the process by connecting you with other nursing care facilities to care for your loved ones. Today's sponsor, Transitions Care, we have Jessica Lyles joining us. Jessica, welcome back. Thank you. Okay, so Transitions Care is the new... Yes. Transitions Hospice. Exactly. So we have rebranded and I'm very excited to talk about that. We were formerly Transitions Hospice and we are now Transitions Care. But does that change anything about what you guys are all about and the services you provide? Nope. So our services still include hospice, which is end of life care for those that have been diagnosed with a terminal illness. And then we also still have our palliative services for symptom management. So new brand, same, same, same great service. Same great service. We do have a lot of new things rolling out though that is very exciting with our new website so people can head on over to transitionscare.com um, follow us on our social media handles Instagram LinkedIn and Facebook um, and you can see all of the new changes we have a new website that's very interactive and I'm super excited for people to head on over and check that out and something else that I'm sure you're excited about is this new partnership that you are um, you're working on now to really get get plugged into other community um, yep Involvement, yes. engagement, yep. So yes. one of the missions for Transitions is to make sure that we are giving back to the community and really putting forth effort to make sure that we're fostering good relationships with either our community partners, such as our assisted living and senior living facilities, um, our care clinics, uh, adult day care services and things like that. So you will be seeing us um, every month for at least the next six months partnering with one facility each month to highlight their services and how we work together with them. Let's talk a little bit about how you do work together because I mean end of life care and kind of the assisted living, I mean it does kind of go together very nicely. Um, so what kind of things do you guys work on together? So when you think hospice care, I know that the word is kind of really big to understand pack there's a, a stigma associated with hospice care but what that looks like is we go wherever the patient is so if that's your home residence where you've lived your entire life or if it's a transitional time where you're in a skilled care facility assisted living independent living memory care um, or you know even a supportive living facility we go wherever the patient is at and so what that looks like is we're bringing in nursing care uh, CNA support chaplain services and social workers to kind of help facilitate the needs that they need as far as end-of-life planning, advanced directives, symptom management, all of the above. Is all hospice care created equal? Uh, we are all regulated underneath Medicare, so the guidelines are the same. The services can vary. Um, so you can have services that go above and beyond, and then you can have services that are pretty standard. I like to say that Transitions Care, we definitely go above and beyond with our vigil sitting, our extended care team, and other services that you can definitely check out on our website. Yeah, I, re I recall when my dad was um, on hospice, it was kind of like presented like, we're trying to, you know, improve the quality of life in the end of life. And that may even end up improving the quantity of life. So I think that's, when you hear hospice, you just automatically think like the worst, like this, it's really, really bad. But to have help and support like, maybe with transitions, mm -hmm. then that would make things a lot easier for families as well. Yeah, and the, the goal for us is we really wanna be there from start to finish. So a lot of times people will call and they'll say, when when is the appropriate time to start services? My recommendation is when somebody's made that determination that they don't want any more aggressive treatment or there are no aggressive treatment options available, really sitting down and having a conversation either with your family, your primary care physician, or a hospice representative to really navigate what that looks like and what's important to that person. Because like you said, we can't necessarily prolong someone's life, but we don't shorten it either. Um, so we wanna make sure that the time they have is the fullest time that they can possibly yeah. experience. Well, good, and I know that has to be comforting to um, caregivers and families as well. So you've got this great new partnership coming with um, lots of great facilities here, and we can't wait to visit with you um, next at Evergreen Place, so stay tuned for that. Also, be sure to check out their Facebook page and their brand new website that Jessica was um, mentioning earlier, and we'll be sure to have all of those links at CILiving.tv. And we do thank Transitions Care for sponsoring our segment today. Thank you to Jessica as well. Thank you.